What is up teachers on fire? Today I want to show you how to use the magnetic lasso tool in pixlr.com, still the web's best free cloud-based photo editor. Let's get started. First we're going to open pixlr.com and here we're going to open the advanced photo editor. From here I want to open two images, one a background and one a foreground and I'm going to cut a puppy from the foreground of one and put it on the front lawn of another. Let me show you what I mean. From here I'm going to select open image and from here I'm going to open a picture of a house with a great big green lawn. I'm also going to select full HD to keep the quality crisp. There's my background. Now I need to find a picture of an adorable golden retriever that I can put on that front lawn and I can show you how I use the magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to go up to layer and add image as layer. From here I'm going to select that picture and open. Now, I'm almost ready to start using the magnetic lasso tool, but hang on, we don't want the background in the image. It's going to distract us, so I'm going to turn off the background image for the time being. You can do that by double-clicking the lock symbol and turning the eye off. You can see the eye is off, so no image. Now I want to go over to the lasso tool, and up here at the top we've got a few choices for lasso. We've got free, polygon, bezier, and magnetic. Magnetic is the one I want. From here I'm going to hit Command Plus a couple of times to zoom in on the puppy so that we can cut it out with the maximum speed and also detail at the same time. We've got our magnetic lasso in hand. All you need to do is click once at any point around the puppy. From here you don't need to keep your finger pressed down on the mouse. All you need to do is follow the contours of the puppy or the object that you want to cut out. It's not going to be perfect but that's okay. Notice it didn't do a perfect job on the tail, but not bad. Once you get back to the top of the image, click once. Now you can see the lines are flashing. Once we hit Control C, we've got the image on our clipboard. Now we're going to do a little bit of a layer switch. So I'm going to turn the lights off on the puppy and turn the background eyes on. Now I'm going to hit Control V. I've got the puppy in the foreground. I'm going to zoom out once on the house by hitting Command or Control minus, and I'm also going to use the Selector tool. Now I've got full control of the puppy and I can move it around in this layer. Let's say that I want to put two puppies in this image. One's going to be sitting way off in front of the front door and the other one's going to be closer toward the front of the lawn. Here's how I would do that. For the puppy near the front of the lawn, I'm going to put it in the lower right corner of the image. Right now though, the puppy is way too large, it's not to scale, so I need to shrink it down by dragging from one of the corners. Now let's add a friend for our puppy that sits at the front door and sort of waits for him there. And to make it look a little more realistic so it's not an exact clone, we're going to flip it horizontally. Hit Control C, Control V again. And let's zoom in on the front door area so that we can flip it and arrange it the way we want to. Zoom back out. And let's flip this one so that it's not a clone of the one by the door. And that's it. You just use the magnetic lasso tool in Pixlr to make a house and beautiful lawn look a whole lot warmer and friendlier. You're welcome, internet land. Before we leave, we need to save and download this image as a PNG. To do that, go to File and Save. I like to save as a PNG. It doesn't need to have a transparent background. And Save As. Now you can choose the name and destination of your photo. Save it. And you're finished. Good job, lifelong learners. I wish you well as you continue to create and edit here on pixlr.com. Keep that fire for learning burning bright and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.